All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we've got a brand new out-of-the-box Galaxy 44 HP for Don. Don ordered this radio brand new, wanted us to do the works and set it up for him. So that's what we're doing. Uh, all I've done is converted the radio over. That's as far as we've gone here. Uh, we're just doing the initial uh, checkout, which, of course, uh, stock. Um slightly off frequency just slightly and uh, that's what it looks like on the scope slot out of the box so um, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get started on this thing uh, I didn't check it out let's see here 150 let's see kind of IMD we got out of the box Oh yeah, let's look at it at 50, 50 megahertz, yeah. That's typical Galaxy, like I say, you gotta clean them up, so. And you can see the haziness in the waveform. Alright guys, we'll be back. Alright, so we're back with the 44 HP, and we're gonna start it here on the um, receive. We got her in receive mode. Negative 106, 12 dB. Start falling out about negative 119, so that's where we're at on that. All right, so we're gonna move to the TX side. Transmit. We're gonna engage the transmit. So we're looking good uh, on the scope. Looking good on spectrum analyzer. Dead on frequency now. We're about to 50 megahertz. Where we had all that IMD, we don't. It's gone. 125. Whoop. 125 megahertz. And we got a little bit of the second there popping up. That's pretty standard. You're not really going to get rid of that. So. Got the second and the third. Just a little bit bouncing and bobbing there. Looking good. All right, so we're going to disconnect the machine here and uh, hook up a microphone. We're going to get the covers back on it. We'll be back. And we're back. And real quick, I want to show something neat. It's kind of kind of weird, you know, when the cases are off, you, you tune it, uh, you're tuning out the trash and everything and the IMD and, and distortion and trying to get it as clean as possible, you reach a threshold where you just can't get it any cleaner. I mean, it is what it is, you know. We, we show it. And you'll have the second and the third harmonic uh, showing on the spectrum analyzer. And occasionally you'll put the covers on. You'll put the covers on. And they'll just about disappear. Still got the second, but no third, so I think that's pretty interesting. So anyway, uh, give me just a second. We're going to mic on this, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back with the uh, Galaxy 44 HP. We've got the uh, we've got the uh, microphone hooked up here, and uh, we're just kind of kind of doing an overview like we always do. Turn that down so it don't feed back on us a little bit. All right, so. Got you about eight watts uh, with the carrier all the way up, Donald. All the way down. Oop, that's dimmer. That ain't. I'm sorry. Let me get over here by bad photography. All the way down. By the watt. Okay. Alright, so. 
we all know it's a dual final RF520 radio. And we was having a conversation with somebody the other day online, uh, another tech or somebody, I don't remember who it was. But anyway, uh, another tech trying to justify MPC mods and, and, and swing kits and all that jazz. And uh, we're talking about a quad five radio, which means it's a 45 watt radio. Those radios come out of the box doing 11 watts carrier. Uh, you know, modulate about 45 watts forward. And you can turn them up just a little bit hotter than that, but um, you know they come out of the box doing that. And uh, the debate was, unless you do swing kits and mods, that you're going to sound wound tight uh, with an eight to ten watt carrier out of one of these radios. Well, uh, if you're producing 100% modulation, 100% modulation is 100% modulation. It doesn't matter. Uh, what the carrier is I mean you know um, if you've got an amp and everything in line f and you're keying 500 watts and you're modulating to forward to 2000 that's 100% roughly a 4 to 1 is roughly it doesn't always work out just perfect uh, uh, you know if you're measuring stuff but it's, it's, it's the standard it's pretty close uh, four times your carrier is 100% modulation. It, it, it gets you in the ballpark, uh, you know. But what I'm saying is, uh, modulation is rel is is it's relative. Uh, it doesn't matter the power setting if you're at 100%. You're at 100% modulation. Now, once you break that 100% threshold, now you can go a little hotter. You can go a little hotter before it gets, you know, out too far out of hand. But when you start getting into past 100, 110% to 115, 120% modulation, your distortion levels uh, rise greatly. And that's just fact. And there's nobody that can um, dispute that. Now, the only way you can get around that is running some type of uh, uh, symmetry modulation like a modulator board. Uh, uh, kind of like the Motormouth Mall or the uh, uh, the S Mod Three, those type of deals will allow you to reach much higher positive peaks while keeping the lower lower uh, in check and not uh, pinching off. And you know, they call it high fidelity. Um, a lot of people don't like spending money on all that stuff but anyway uh, the dx44 hp we set them up about eight watts carrier a lot of people said that's too high it is relative i will it is not relative to power i will show you that because 100 percent modulation is 100 percent modulation it doesn't matter what power setting you're at hello 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 if you listen to this right here one two three four audio check one two three four five four three two one okay now, if we take the power up, all that's power all the way down. We're moving the power all the way up now. Hello, hello, radio one two three four, audio check one two three four, audio one two, audio check. We're at hundred percent modulation. So, and that's at close proximity. We're listening in on a radio that's not connected to anything, and that kind of simulates you saying being within a block or up to a mile away from somebody maybe half a mile if conditions are really good and uh you know but close proximity the guy that's listening to you is not going to be able to tell if he's a block or two away from you whether you are on high power or low power if he does can distinguish the two you're probably over modulated on the low power setting. You're going way over 100% modulation. You're going to get distorted. He's going to be like, turn that down. And you're going to notice as you turn the variable down, it's even going to get louder on him. That's a radio that's been hacked, swing kits, unnecessary, you know, misalignments, and, and all that good stuff. The goal here to. You know, like I say, close proximity, it's going to sound pretty much the same. 100% modulation all the way down, 100% modulation all the way up. If we're 1 watt swinging, you know, 4.5 watts, or if we're 8 watts, you know, swinging 32, 
If we're 10 watts swinging 40, it should all sound the same. The only thing that's going to change is your carrier power, which is your dead key, which a bird measures fine. You know, that's the only thing that's going to change. And that could be your, your carrier signal could change on the receiving radio. But as far as your modulation, if you cover up this meter, one watt swinging four watts, if the radio is properly done up. All right, we got cut off. We actually ran out of space there on our car. It cut us right off. So anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, you know, the only thing that changes when you change this should be your carrier power. I mean, your power output in general. If you, if you have a radio and you're turning this down and it's one watt swinging 40 watts, that's junk. That's not an opinion either. That's junk. That's, that's, that's fact. Um, <laughs> you're not doing it. And I did a video on that. And you can look it up. What happens when they super tune your radio? What happens when they, you know, it's, uh, that's just junk. Well, they say, well, it don't drive my amplifier right. Well, if you have the a, an amplifier that's designed to run with a properly tuned radio, it'll run your amplifier just fine. You don't need much more than about five or six watts PEP uh, to drive, you know, an amp that's set up to, to work with a radio like this. Not a problem at all. So, anyway, we're going to get out of here. Got a lot to do. I've got a Cobra 29. Uh, that y'all been waiting on with the stinger board. I've got the uh, the rest of the General Lee with the stinger board done. Got a Cobra 148 with the uh, AD203 stinger board. Going to be doing a uh, um, a lot of this stuff's well on its way back to the to the uh, to the customer before it ever reaches a video and. Uh, Oh, man, I tell you, one thing I'm happy about, guys, and just to update, you know, a lot of you guys know, man, we're having some serious problems almost weekly where we're missing days because of our stomach and and uh, what we thought was stomach bugs and couldn't understand. You know, it started back in February. I got put in the hospital, dehydrated. Well, we finally got it narrowed down. It was my blasted dead gum uh, uh, blood pressure medication that was making me sick. So, we're getting that changed again. Man, I tell you, you got to watch these, you know, drugs. And the only reason I found out is uh, the problem I have in my blood pressure was running real low and I was sick. Last week it happened. I was under the weather. I missed a day and I almost missed yesterday uh, because of it. And, well, I'll tell you what, man. I don't know if any of you other guys are, you know, we're not 20 years old and bulletproof anymore. And... You know, I'm finding that out. You know, it's uh, kind of a crazy thing. But but uh, I got off my blood pressure medicine for about a week. And then Sunday night I took one. Because I felt my blood pressure creeping up. I checked it and it was starting to go back up. So I took one. Monday morning I woke up sick as a dog. You know, and that's when I attributed. So I googled uh, side effects. And... Uh, Lisapril, I can't remember what I take. I'm bad with names and medications. But anyway, uh, I, I googled it and it said that major side effects was uh, being nauseated, stomach, and coming out both ends and all that good stuff. So, not a happy time. Not a happy time at all. So, anyway, uh, had a lot going on. So, anyway, guys, y'all just stay tuned. Uh, Got a couple guys have been waiting patiently for some amp projects to be done. Uh, some free pill jobs. Uh, Dave made and a, and a fat boy uh, base amp. We've got guys that have been waiting for that and and uh, been waiting patiently. We've got a little bit of stuff that's stacked up on us. Uh, you know, so. Anyway, we're going to get out of here and quit rambling. Y'all be safe, be careful, and be kind. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And uh, we'll be back. Got a... Lincoln 2 Plus, a Striker 955, an RCI 39 VHP, Cobra 25 Comp Tune, a 29 Comp Tune. Got several radios coming up and several repair radios, uh, you know, alignments. Uh, 98 VHP, uh, 949, 
couple more cover. We got a lot of radio videos coming up. So y'all stay tuned. Gotta go. I'll see you later. Bye.